that is again and coming back to you for the envelope uh, tutorials and I'm going to give you the measurements for the actual um, measurements that we're going to utilize for the tag um, or box tag or storage tag box whatever you want to uh, call it uh, the accordion box but I'm going to give you first the measurement for um, the one that I showed to you on my previous uh, video the ones that you can buy at the store they are three and a half by six and a half in case you want to you know replicate those you could do so so here is the um, here is the, the, the one I already cut. Let me see if I can zoom out. Oops, I'm zooming in. There it is, a little better. So this is what they look like once you have cut it, measurement, score, and I'll give you all this information. This is the one that I had already previously made. They are the same size as you can tell, and I'll even show you how to create those little uh, fasteners in there. You're going to need um, some sort of cardstock that is, you know, that'll be okay for you to score and they'll take the pressure and all that. I'm using plain old vanilla, um, manila uh, folders. You guys know that I love them and I use them for so many things because they're so inexpensive and they actually take a beating really, really well. So you're cutting up um, this, um, again, this envelope will be three and a half by six and a half, okay, once you're done with it. You're going to need to cut a paper that is eight and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so that's the measurement that's your square that you're going to utilize. Once you have the square, um, you're going to go to the eight and a half inch side and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch first and then you're going to do it at seven and a quarter inch. So those are your two first scores. Then you flip the paper, uh, pardon me, <clears throat> then you flip the paper back to the seven and a half and then you're going to score at one and seven eighths and five and three eighths. Okay, so once you have that done, um, do your four score, you need to do your folds, make sure that it's all fitting uh, properly and everything. Once you have this done, this will be the time for you to stamp it if that's what uh, you know you wish to do. Um, I do use um, you know an ink that is uh, permanent ink move my drink I have some a cup of milk there and I think I'm gonna drop it all right so this will be the time in which you can do some stamping on it um, I'm just gonna do it randomly you know just like any collage uh, paper there is no rhyme or reason scripts work really well or like those vintage ads um, stamps I really like those too. Okay, so that's as far as I'm going to go. Let me close this ink. And those little pieces that came out when you know you were trimming your corners, we're going to use those and don't throw those away. Okay, so this is stamped already. I'm going to again close it up just so I can see that everything is fitting correctly, and I do like it. Um, <clears throat> you round all your corners with your you know corner rounder. Just do the whole thing. Um, you don't have to do the, the you know, the laps, but I kind of like it and it looks really clean when you do it that way. So that's the reason why I do it. Pardon my voice, it's really, um, the weather is just affecting me today. Uh, and my um, fibromyalgia is really kicking my butt today. Um, okay, so, again, once you close it, and you can put glue on it and go ahead and close it. But... If you're going to be doing those fasteners, this is the time also to do them, okay? I am going to punch a hole kind of in the middle here. And I'm just eyeballing it, okay? Right there. And I'm going to use those little pieces that I told you that, you know, we're not going to throw away. And I'm using a one inch punch in this case because this tag is a little bigger. And I want to make sure that I get up, you know, there it is that I get a good, um, a solid grip when I put those eyelids into it, or grommets, whatever you want to call them. I'm not going to get quite one here, but that can go on the bottom. I just double them myself. I double them just because they have a better resistance that way. 
All right, so I'm going to put those two together. You can stamp this one or not. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes I stamp the whole thing before I even cut the corner, so this one's already stamped. Uh, but I kind of like it uh, plain like that, too. They kind of differentiate. All right, I'm going to make a hole in the middle there. Actually, I the other one here. Sorry about that. So just, you know, eyeball it in the middle. Nothing major. Okay. So let me make this one just a tiny bit bigger because I used the wrong one too. All right, so there's my... So at this point, I'm going to double check, you know, where this is going to go. Since my first one is going to be there, I'm kind of calculating that it's going to be around there. So I am going to eyeball that also. All right, so there it is. So this is why you end up with the two holes in here prior to for um, closing it. And I have my... Um, eyelids in here somewhere oh there we are actually these ones are grommets and I'll tell you why I like, the, like this ones because they have that you know that backing part and it seems like they just grab a lot better um, they take the the ribbon and then you can cut the excess later on there and and it just go back and forth so you already know how that works so there is your envelope and it's the same thing I'll just remove this so I can so it's the same thing. See the same size, both of them. Can you see them right there? Perfect size. And I like mine better, to be honest. Um, and it's very, very strong. Um, I like the feel of the um, manila folder. So I'm much, much more pleased with mine. You could also do this shape, you know, on the closing. It really doesn't really matter. By the time that I give you the measurements for the one that we're going to use on the box, uh, we're not going to be using this because we're going to cut the top, okay? So we're not going to worry about that. But I just wanted to have a little tutorial in that would tell you how to, um, you know, how to make this size envelope, the one that they sell. It's three and a half by six and a half. So now you know how to make them, all right? And it's the same procedure for all this ones, okay? Same thing. I really did not measure none of them, I think. These ones were all done with leftovers of papers that I just had. Um, and I like to utilize them. So sometimes I have a funky day that I don't feel like doing a major thing. And, you know, I'm doing just tags today. Or I'm doing... And now that they're elaborate or anything, just creating the tags and having them ready. Because by the time I, I have a project to go to and I need so many tags or so many envelopes or, you know, they're done. So I can just go pick them up at my store, you know, so to speak. So same thing, excuse me, same, um, same, um, uh, system, you know, you want to measure, you know, whatever size you have, or just work with the size of paper that you already have. This one's again, there were leftovers and I'm just utilizing them and love having these little envelopes. They can, they go into the, a lot of little minis and they're just so, so cute. I love these craft ones and I really stamped this one to look at, you know, make it look really grungy. This is made with a wax paper or glassing paper that I make. So leftovers and look how cute this ones look. So same thing. That's the same um, system for all of them. You want to take care of your measurements and then you want to have, you know, your flaps. So same as measurements as the, is what the width of your project or your envelope. And plus about at least an inch over so you can, you know, overlap your um your flaps and be able to close your your envelope so that's how you make those envelopes um, I hope this wasn't too confusing um, and I'm going to wrap this up and then we're going to start working on our box okay see you in a little bit bye